basically we've come along here and the water has gone ice cold and all these little fish are starting to wash up on the actual sand now they're a little moss bunker and unfortunately like i said they're all over the place now the water's gone ice cold with the westley that we had last night One of my favorite little hideaways is actually the lawn site for Seavale Ski Boat Club. It's early morning, the sun has just come up, the sea is dirty. I'm going to try for carp and brushes, so I'm going to use a combination bait. I'm just taking a small little piece of chocolate here, I'm going to lightly knock it, just give it a couple of tentacles as well. There could be a lot of little blacktail around here which does cause a bit of a problem sometimes. I'm still going to stick to my bronze beam trace with the longer shank hook which is very very sharp. They normally use it in fly fishing. So I'm going to make a long thin bait and then just wrap some more chocker around it. Like I say, this is a combo bait for smaller cob, those 3 kilo, 4 kilo cobbies. I'm just going to do that quickly and see what jumps on it. We're not going to spend too much time here. If we do get bites from the bronze bream, we'll stay. The water is discolored a bit. So I'm using a white bait. So that is just basically a long piece of chocker. I'm going to take one of our lovely little pink horns that we got, cutting it through the back. The tide is dropping at the moment, which I like. Just butterfly this one open. And I'm just going to stick that on the back of my chocker bait for the bronze bream. A little blob bait with a bit of corn on it. My red float for attraction in the dirty water. I'm using, and this one I'm going to be using most of the day, my 10 foot 6 BG rod. I got 20 pound gator braid on it. I got my Saltist 4000 and my standard little helicopter rig. So I'm going to throw just over the internet rolling white water is what I'm looking for. This area very very rocky that's why uh, we use a lot of snooping as if you do get stuck you can at least break off washed up on the beach there so sometimes a bronze bream uh, like the pungent smell of this rock bait but I tell you what this has been here for a while because it's really nuggering yeah so what we're doing is we're just cutting into it and finding all the, the little ponds and that's basically what it looks like it looks like a rock itself when you open it up it's full of red bait it looks like that. Waste not, want not. Basically, we moved through the launch site. We're taking a long little walk down to Land's End there. And we're going to go and fish those ledges for the blue fish. And maybe when we come back, we'll stop over here and try and get a lesser or two. But we're definitely going to go look for blue fish down there. That area, although very nice, there were some bites, but not enough bites. We spent over an hour there. Make a nice big bait here. I said before they're feeding very, very shy. My first 
first throw I had a little pick up I was using prawn. I'm just going to try something else. They weren't committing to it. I'm just putting a bit of red bait on. I don't want to see if that makes a difference. I'm just going to throw it just in that ledge there. Just over that rock and see if I can get a green red. with this bait and see what happens. I've hit the chocker so it's almost like rhetorical snot, as I like to say. Just bring it a little bit more around there. Like that. There we go. Okay, I'm good to go. Unfortunately, it has swallowed my hook down a little bit deeper than I wanted, so I'm just going to cut it off. It's a very thin gauge hook, it will rust out very quickly. So there we go, one little baby muscle tapper. Go baby. That just goes to show you, on the light tackle you can still have fun catching reasonably small fish, but the bigger fish will come just now. Let me go and catch another one. There's his two eyes over there. So they grab him quickly and show his mouth. Look at that. There's his mouth. His little beak is over here. And then all his little feelers. Cute little things. He was hunting crabs. I actually saw him chasing a crab in the pool. They make very, very good bait for catching crab and that. Um, but if you do catch them, just take one or two legs. Don't take the whole thing. This one. I'm going to actually put back. Okay. This is what he was trying to catch. One of these little crabs over here. And you can see he's still sitting up. He doesn't like me that much. There we go. species that we get quite a lot of here is the Cape Stump Nose. As you can see he's got that lovely yellow line that runs down him. Take the hook out of him. Lovely little fish that we get down here. Normally if you look down his throat you normally see a lot of lice. And no, no lice in this one. But it's a lovely little Cape Stump Nose. There he goes.
little species that we actually get here, the boulder crab. Lovely colorations in them. Hooked at the job properly this time. Basically golden color and nice little stripes down them. They get reasonably big. This is a baby, about three to four kilos. But this is a little baby one here. Pretty little fish to catch. This is my last bait for the, the trip. I haven't been able to capitalize on these bream that have been biting. They've just been giving me such a hard time. Very shy, and when they do fall, you're half asleep. So now I'm just going to take one blind throw in the middle of nowhere and see what happens. Last bait of the trip. of the trip of course one of my favorites the little puffer fish I'm hook back here quickly and he gets his name Come, wake up wake up wake up from him puffing himself up you can see he's starting to puff himself up now he becomes like a rugby ball there we go there we go see how he becomes a rugby ball now so he becomes round like a rugby ball and we put him back in the water and what we're gonna do there he is And there he goes again. <laughs> okay, that brings us to the end of our four days down here at East London. Unfortunately, the fish never played the game and neither did the weather. But believe me, we'll be back next year to arrest these fish again. But unfortunately, at the moment, we failed miserably. So, yeah packing up and we're heading back home back to Durban guys lovely area to fish lovely place to fish fish with live tackle but no luck today have a look at that some lovely horses on the beach here